Hello, beautiful souls. This is Ona with Art of Awakening, and welcome back to my Spiritual Law series. Today, we're going to be talking about the third great hermetic principle, and that is the principle of vibration or law of vibration. And it's a very simple law, but don't be deceived by that because it is very, very foundational to how everything works in the universe. So today I'll explain what the principle of vibration is, why it is so important to us spiritually, and also I'll share with you a tool that will help you to maintain the, the most healthy vibration for you at this time. principle of vibration states that everything is energy and that energy is always moving and this is called vibration or frequency so you and every other being you have a sacred signature frequency pattern that is yours and yours alone your own vibration that you just naturally vibrate out into the universe that this is the frequency of you. You're probably familiar with the idea of raising your vibration, but to really work with that frequency, we need to understand the principle of resonance, okay? And so the, the word resonance comes from Latin, and it means to resound, which means to sound out together with a loud sound. And it's probably easiest to understand through music and musical instruments, so I brought this guitar here. The natural frequencies of a musical instrument are sometimes referred to as the harmonics of the instrument. Okay, so we have a particular vibration, right? And then that's what it's vibrating at, but then we can go like an octave above, above, octave below, right? I can't go any lower than that, but you can hear the difference in octave, right? An instrument can be forced into vibrating at one of its harmonics if another interconnected object pushes it with one of those frequencies. And this is known as resonance. When one object vibrating at the same natural frequency of a second object forces the second object into vibrational motion. And just to demonstrate, I've got the strings here, which are just static, but when I start speaking or even toning into it, I'm hoping that the microphone picked that up, but when I tone into it, they sing back without me even touching the strings, right? And that is resonance. That happens to us all the time, not just in sound, but in kind of our spiritual energy, our aura, our energetic vibration. And any objects that are kind of within the same vibrational family as we are, such as other people, right? Other living beings, when they come near us, it will often trigger a harmonic response or a, a resonance within us. And that's what is meant by, do you resonate with something, right? If, if it is kind of energetically friendly to the state that you're in or related to you somehow energetically, and you feel that you'll feel it and it will trigger you to vibrate at a similar vibration that it is. And so whichever one has the more powerful vibration is going to trigger whatever's around it to fall into a harmonic pattern that is similar to that first vibration. Okay, so if you've ever walked into a room where somebody had been doing a lot of really high vibrational prayer, you can feel it, right? And it raises your own vibration. You may feel your mood lifting. Just as if you go into a room where people are angry, you can feel that too, and it kind of lowers your vibration. So this leads into understanding kind of how to raise or lower your vibration. 
Okay, so as a general rule, the higher we are vibrating, the healthier we are, the more whole, the more vibrant we are, right? Um, there are some exceptions to that. We can use the scale up and down, but in general, we want to be raising our vibration. And to do that, there's a really awesome tool that you can use to help you figure out where you are <laughs> vibrationally and to assist in helping us to shift at will, right, where our vibrational level is. And that is the Hawkins Scale of Consciousness. So here's the Hawkins Scale, and you can see it is just a scale from shame down at the bottom to enlightenment at the top. And you can see that there's all these increments. Okay, so what this represents, the, the, the emotional frequencies that are near the bottom, those are considered low frequency. The ones near the top are high frequency. And what's interesting is this courage in the middle is, um, they're all given a number, it's the 200 point, but that's like the midpoint, right? Below this 200 level, it's considered contracted energy, and above it, it's considered expanded energy. And so that really kind of translates to energy that's that's moving in a negative way would be the contracted and if it's a, a positively moving energy it's going to be in that higher frequency expansion mode and so we can use this right um, if we find ourselves like vibrating at some of these lower frequencies it, it helps to kind of understand which frequencies are on either side, right? Because if, if we think of fear as usually being a really, really low frequency, and it is, but sometimes if you're really stuck in grief, a state of fear might actually jumpstart you out of it, right? And I also want to just say a couple things here. Um, gratitude is somewhere in here I think it's it's I can't remember exactly where it is but gratitude's way up there and that is one thing that I have found to be if, if it's hard to get out of anger out of fear whatever I have personally found that gratitude is one that is relatively easy to hook into right you can say you know I'm grateful for this even though I'm really angry about it <laughs> but you can find the gratitude in it it's a way that you can help to kind of jump into a, a way higher frequency relatively with relative ease and then another thing is that these lower frequencies they do have their use okay and I'll probably get into that in a future video I think it's important to understand that in context with the law of polarity which I'll be talking about in the next video on in the series but for now this is just I just find it a really useful tool for you to use you can look it up the scale of consciousness or Hawkins scale of consciousness it was named after David Hawkins so I hope this little video has been helpful to you. If you have any questions about the law of vibration, feel free to ask those in the, um, the comments below. And definitely, uh, if you have insights into the law of vibration, absolutely share those there as well, because that will help anybody who's, who's reading those comments. And if you want to learn more about spiritual law, check out this playlist right here. Otherwise, have a great day. And remember, you were born to be free.